boys and girls. Today I'm going to be doing modelled reading with you and I'm going to be showing you two things. One, what good reading sounds like and two, how I can use my reading strategies when I come across new words. Today's story is called Swimming Across the Pool. I want you to activate your prior knowledge, switch on your brain and think about what you already know. Hmm. Swimming across the pool. Have you swum across a pool before? Was it tricky? Was it easy? Was it your pool? Was it the local pool? Was it a friend's pool? Or a cousin's pool? Was the water cold? Was it warm? Close your eyes and think about someone swimming in that pool. It can be you, it could even be someone else. Picture how they are swimming across the pool. Are they moving their arms and their legs? Are their eyes closed or are they open under the water? What are they wearing? Are they wearing a jumper? Or are they wearing a swimsuit or a costume? Are they wearing goggles on their eyes? Now that you've activated your prior knowledge, I think we're ready to start reading. Swimming across the pool. Swimming across the pool. This story is by Jenny Giles and illustrated, that means the person that's done the pictures, is Claire Bridge. Yasmin, Yasmin, Yasmin liked swimming with her friends from school. Did you notice I stopped at that full stop? At the end of every lesson, can you see what's at the end of lesson? Do you remember what this is called? This is called a comma. Can you say comma? Nice. A comma tells us to take a quick stop. So not a whole break like a full stop, just a quick stop. Let's try that again. At the end of every lesson, Miss Lee would let the children play games in the water. Sometimes the best swimmers in the class had a race across the pool. Yasmin's friend Sarah could swim fast. She often won the race. Yasmin wanted to go in the race too, but she could only swim halfway across the pool. Yasmin wanted to go in the race too. Did you notice that comma? But she could only swim. Uh, oh, I know that small word, way. Put a uh, way. I, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. What other strategies could I use? Maybe I could read on. Let's try that. But she could only swim way across the pool. Hmm. Maybe it's how long she could go across the pool. But she could only swim. Maybe I could try another word. But she could only swim. Hmm. Sometimes we're going to get stuck on this word. And you know what you can do? You can always ask somebody. So if you've already tried chunking and you've tried reading on and you've tried to make sense of the story, that's when it's a good chance to go and ask your teacher or the person next to you or your brother or sister or mum or dad, that's when you can ask them. When you have tried all of your reading strategies and you still are not sure, that's when I can go and ask them, okay? Now, I know that word. It says halfway. Can you say halfway? Well done. Let's reread that sentence. But she could only swim halfway across the pool. Looks right. 
and make sense. Then she had to stop and put her feet down. Can you imagine and visualise her feet touching the bottom of the pool? Because that was the only way she could get some air. Sometimes when we're underwater, we get out of breath because you have to hold your breath underwater. So she's put her feet on the floor and she's coming up for some air. Miss Lee showed the children how to turn their heads to the side and take in air. Can you see her visualising? She's showing them exactly what to do. But Yasmin could not do it while she was swimming. You just need to practice a bit more. You just need to practice. Mm, that doesn't really make sense, so I can't chunk it. What would make sense in this sentence? You just need to practice. It looks right and it sounds right. You just need to practice a bit more, Miss Lee told her. Yasmin watched Sarah swimming across the pool. She said to herself, I'm going to have another try. Yasmin stood with her back to the wall. Then she pushed off with her feet and started kicking as hard as she could. Her arms went over and over as she moved along. Are you visualising it? Her arms moving over and over. She was going fast! Can you see what sign that is after fast? Do you remember what it's called? Kiss your clever brain if you remembered that it's called an exclamation mark. If you didn't, can you say exclamation mark? That means my voice needs to be louder. She was going fast. But Yasmin needed some air. I won't stop, she said to herself. Did you notice that exclamation mark? She turned her head out of the water and this time she got some air. She did what Miss Lee told her. Then she kicked even harder. She could see the wall just ahead of her. She was nearly there. Yasmin got to the other side of the pool. She was so proud of herself. Yasmin stood up and looked for Sarah. But Sarah was swimming to the other end of the pool. And Miss Lee was talking to one of the boys. Yasmin didn't think that anyone had seen her swimming across the pool. All that hard work and no one had seen. But Miss Lee had seen Yasmin. Can you see had how it's a little bit darker and thicker? That's called bold. Can you say bold? When I see bold writing, I need to change the way I read that word. So I'm not reading, but Miss Lee had seen, Jas had seen Yasmin. I would say, but Miss Lee had seen Yasmin. She said to the class, it's nearly time to get out, everyone. We will just have a race for the children who can swim across the pool. And I think someone else is going to do it today. Yasmin smiled at Miss Lee. Then she went to stand by Sarah. Sarah was surprised. Do you think you can do it, Yasmin? She asked. Yasmin swam all the way across the pool. And this time, everyone saw her. Can you see them all clapping? They're so proud of her. And that's the end of our story today, boys and girls. Bye.